Good morning, everyone. So week four is complete, and I am feeling really good and really happy with where I'm at. I am at 119 pounds, which is the lightest I've ever been during an off season, and I'm also at my strongest. So, I mean, I'm super happy with everything, and I am also very happy with the fact that we haven't had to decrease my caloric intake at all yet. Um, we've just kind of switched around my cardio and added a lot of volume into my training and everything has been progressing week to week. I'm getting tighter and losing weight, so yay! So I know I've mentioned why I'm doing this mini cut, just to get leaner, see where my physique is at for my future pro debut, and then afterwards reverse diet and increase my calories so I can have more food, less cardio, and be leaner and stronger. But I want to talk about it again on why I'm doing this, mainly to remind myself. I have been really hungry and craving things. I just kind of want to eat and it's been a little challenging for me just because I'm not really in a contest prep so it's like well if I eat something it's okay I'm not really prepping but Tony reminded me that I mean I am still kind of prepping I'm prepping for my prep I'm setting myself up for an easier prep in the future so even though I'm not getting ready for a show or a meet right now, I still am getting ready for bigger goals down the road. So my big future goal is stepping on stage for my pro debut. And I really don't want to go on stage looking like an amateur. I don't want to go on stage looking like a 20 year old who just got into bodybuilding. I want to go on stage and fit in with everybody else. And there's just so much on my physique that I feel like I need to work on. And that's why I'm doing everything I've been doing for this past year. That's why I have a coach. That's why I have Tony help me. That's why I got into powerlifting. All of the things that I do every single day, whether I'm in a calorie deficit or not, is all working towards my goal. Um, I just, I want to be good. I want to look good. I want to be at my best and obviously enjoy every part of it along the way. So I'm definitely trying to learn and become a better athlete and become a better trainer myself. So in the past, when I first started bodybuilding and getting into lifting, I would just go into the gym and train whatever felt good. Um, I would follow a friend's workout split or find something online, just kind of follow that and do the things that I liked, do the things that I was good at and what felt good, um, which worked at the time, but things were kind of all over the place with my training and so now things are kind of switching up the more advanced I get as an athlete I have more purpose when I get into the gym especially because I am also in a performance sport as well so everything that I do there's a reason for it I'm trying to build up a weakness so I can be stronger in one of my lifts and then now kind of transferring over into bodybuilding for this eight week mini cut, I am now focusing on my weaknesses for my physique. And for me, I thought my weaknesses were my shoulders and my quads. And I didn't even think to ask my coach what he thought. I mean, he is one of the top bodybuilding coaches. He's just brilliant. And he is an IFBB pro himself. And so Tony's like, well, why don't you just ask Jason what he thinks you need work on? So that is exactly what I did. And he actually said like the, what I totally did not think were my weaknesses. He told me that if he were to be really picky, that I would need a wider and a thicker back and um, thicker hamstrings and shape my lower glutes. 
So I was like, oh, okay, I never thought of that. So don't be afraid to ask questions, you guys. If you have a coach, ask them what you need to work on. If you don't have a coach, go get one. Um, And that goes for really whatever you are doing, whether it be bodybuilding or powerlifting or any other sport. Ask questions. Um, Ask for help. I have always been afraid to ask questions and ask for help because I fear that I am wrong or I'm a failure, but I mean, no. Uh, How am I supposed to grow and get any better if I don't ask questions? So going into these last four or five weeks of my mini cut, um, I'm mixing up my training a little bit. I'm trying to get away from powerlifting just because right now that's not my focus. I need to get away from maxing out and I just need to put in the work. I need to make my workouts harder in different ways like doing tempos or doing a hundred reps of something in as few sets as possible. And I also am making sure to prioritize my weaknesses like my hammies, glutes, and back. So each day that I go in, it is even more specific to that. And so I will work on my weaknesses first, um, pre-exhaust them at the beginning of the workout. That way I don't go too heavy and I'm not putting too much stress on my body and I'm able to stay healthy during this off season so then when I get back into powerlifting I am in a good place to get back into those heavy weights and I'm not all beat up. So I'm really excited to see what these last four weeks have in store and if you guys have any questions about anything please email me or message me. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks again for watching, you guys. Bye.